welcome back to the channel. I had to haul a couple loads of gravel this morning. I uh, just got done with that. I'm not sure where Dad's at. Um, the sun's out. I think we're going to try and cut some beans. Um, maybe pretty soon. It wasn't very damp this morning, so... I know a couple guys were running beans yesterday. I don't think ours were quite ready yet, but they, they'll they probably go today. We got the parts to fix the corn head. I don't know if he wanted to put that back together before we get things switched over or what, but... I guess we'll find out. See, now we got some clouds rolling in. I think we just didn't get quite enough sun this morning. I don't know if these are going to go today or not. This is, we got 30, like 33 acres here. Then we got 60 acres down the road. I don't know if those will be any more fit, but. I guess I could go find out. Anybody need a couch? Well, I found Dad. We're going to get this corn head put back together before we have to drop it off the combine. It's a little easier to work on it when it's up in the air. need to use the air compressor so we're gonna run the combine over to the shop real quick. Dad had to run and get some more parts. We decided to replace this chain while we've got this all tore apart because it takes a lot of work to take that apart and put it back together so might as well put a new chain in it. While I'm waiting for him I'm gonna take the bean head over to the farm it's kind of breezy, the sun's going in and out of the clouds. I think the beans will go after a while. talked to dad about it yet but we have an extra bin that we didn't use for seed beans and I'm thinking we ought to put these in the bin because there's a lot of potential for the bean markets to go up from now until you know next spring so I'm gonna call him and see what he thinks all right well I talked to dad he thought that was a good idea too talked to mom she thought that was a good idea too so I'm gonna get this bin ready I hook the tractor up to the auger Got to put the door in, got to open the door up top, got to get to work. This job's kind of a pain. So this is the inner door. It's removable, so when you're emptying the bin, you can take this out. You can get in the you can get in the bin and switch it out. All right, that's done. I gotta run home, rinse out the dump trailer because we have to use the dump trailer to dump beans there, and I hauled gravel with it this morning, so. You don't want gravel in your beans, so that's what I'm going to do. And I also got to get the header trailer for the corn head.
Bullmurray 378. You'll get your turn. Well, the neighbors are going. I guess we better get it together. Well, I started setting up the auger, but the 4320 has some sort of hydraulic leak on it. I don't know what it is. I don't really feel comfortable using it on the auger, so I'm going to go get the Kubota real quick and run it over here, and we'll use that on the auger. All right, let's get this auger up. Alrighty, auger set up, corn heads fixed, combines hooked up. Let's go try these beans. So I don't know if Dad set all this stuff here. So let's go through that real quick. Let's see, threshing speed 450 to 650. Yep, 21 on the concave. Right. Looks like you did. So, all right, let's try it. My monitor is saying 12.8 moisture. That's just right for putting them in the bin. I'll probably, I'll probably send a sample with Grandpa just to be sure. I don't know. We switched the corn and back to beans. I don't know how accurate this moisture tester is. This is that wet spot where I planted oats and radishes back in uh, early August. I made a video about it, I'll link to it right here. I went out and spread them with a four-wheeler spreader. I had never done that before. I didn't really know anything about it, so I just kind of did it to see what would happen. And areas, they came up pretty well. Other areas, they're pretty thin. So overall, I'm happy. It was, it was just kind of an experiment. Well, Grandpa's back with the sample, and he didn't call me. He didn't flag me down, so it must be all right. Hop out here and see if I'm losing any out the back. This area of the field through here, along with a lot of other areas on this farm, flooded out as you can see. And uh, I guess this farm was tiled back in the 70s. So we're thinking that tile's just about done for. It's either crushed or it's just not working as good as it's supposed to. So hopefully we can get in here in the next year or two and get some more tile or at least get some stuff fixed so we can farm it. It never used to be this wet, but the past three, four years has just been really, really bad. I'm seeing a couple beans over here in what I haven't cut yet. That means I'm losing a couple out the chopper, but I don't think it's bad enough to hurt anything. So we'll just keep on running. these tall green weeds I always grew up calling them button weeds because here's the seed pod kind of looks like a button but I guess they have three names at least three names that I know of I think the technical name form is velvet leaf but some people call it butter print I don't understand that one I'm just gonna keep calling them button weeds the soybeans are cutting surprisingly well I kind of thought that since it was cloudy this morning and part of the day that they'd be a little tough but it's going pretty good they're feeding in nice they're not too tough moisture's just about right so I guess we'll run them soybeans can be awful challenging some years they uh I don't know some years they're tough some years they're not this year they haven't been too bad the weather hasn't been perfect for us this year it was cloudy a few days when we were trying to run but overall not too bad Soybeans are just really finicky. They pick up moisture overnight, or uh, you know, if it's damp or if it rains, they'll pick up moisture overnight. So they can definitely be a challenge, but I guess it's worth it. This spot.
spot in the field is drier than I've seen it in a long time. It's uh, not really picking up on the tires. When we planted this field, we had to go around that spot. I'm pretty sure there was water standing in it. I can't contribute that all to the tile issues because this spring was just wet. I'm sure all of you farmers know. We dealt with it here too and just didn't stop raining for a while. I think tile would help, but I don't think it would have made that much of a difference this year just because it stayed so wet for so long. But we're going to try and do something about it anyway. We've got about 40 acres left here. It's going pretty good. I was hoping we would be able to get this done and get moved to that other piece, but I don't know. If the sun goes down, it just depends how late we can run. I would like to get moved over there and get things opened up before the sun goes down because it's kind of hard to open things up at night. sprinkles on the window. Well, that's uncalled for. That's all right. I think it's just a quick passing shower. There's sun behind it, so I'm not too worried. That's better. Hydroflex, which is what this header is equipped with, is a way to make your cutter bar more or less rigid. So in the daytime when the sun's out, beans are going good, you turn it way down to like, I run around 1200 and conditions are right. And that will let the sickle bar or cutter bar flex more and you can get closer to the ground to get those low potted beans. And then towards nighttime when it starts getting damp and starts pushing, you can turn it up, it keeps it more rigid. That way it doesn't get as close to the ground and it doesn't push as bad. So you can do a better job at lower pressure, but if you want to run at night, you got to crank it up a little bit. that one done. There's a uh, little two acre patch down the road. I'm going to try and knock that out tonight. I thought we just had that 30 acres left, but I forgot about a couple other pieces. All right, I'm here at this little two acre field. Hooked a tree branch on the, hooked a tree branch with the bean head. So I got to get that off real quick before I get started. knocked out. Uh, I think we're going to call it quits for the night. We 
we don't want to do any more opening up in the dark. Had a pretty good day. It's supposed to be another good day tomorrow, so we should be able to get beans knocked out. That'll be great, because then we can just focus on corn. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell next to it. That'll notify you whenever I have a new video. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at West Farms. We'll see you on the next one. Thank mm -hmm. you.